Welcome ladies. Today we are making our tomato, carrot and beetroot soup. I have used here 4 tomatoes medium size and 1 medium size carrot like by 5 inch long carrot and 2 cloves of garlic. I have added here 500 ml of water and I am adding 1 tablespoon of shredded beetroot and all together is cooked. Over it and going on our flame. Now I have kept our mixture of the tomato, carrot, and beetroot with the cloves uh, for two whistle, or you can cook for 15 to 20 minutes on low to medium flame. So now let's move to our second recipe, and that is Japanese garlic bun. To prepare our Japanese garlic bun, I'm using here our dough. I have already got ready here and I have used here one cup of our wheat flour you can use all purpose flour as well but I want to go with the healthy version so I'm using here wheat flour with the wheat flour I have used one tablespoon of yeast half teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of oil one tablespoon of sugar and with a lukewarm water I have kneaded this dough and when we require uh, to knead it nice and smoothly I have used a little uh, two drops of the oil and knead properly and kept for 10 minutes and now I'm going to keep in a grease tin to make our bun so here I have my tin going in our baking so I'm greasing this tin with the oil and rolling this dough I have divided this in four equal size and we are preparing our bun so first I'm going to make it flat and then again roll it As you can see how I'm doing, I'm flattening it like this. And then again, making a So here, our four bowls are ready. And I'm going to keep this for 30 minutes to brew on it. Okay, the, our four bowls are ready. Cover with a clean film or plastic bag and keep in a warm place so it can rise nicely. After 30 minutes, our bun is ready. I have applied butter on the top and preheated my oven for 15 minutes on 180 degree temperature. And I'm going to move it a little bit more on 200 and keeping our bun to cook it for 20 to 25 minutes and after 25 minutes we will check whether it's ready or not. After two whistle, our tomato, carrot and beetroot with the garlic is ready. I'm going to make a nice pulp puree of this mixture in our mixture grinder. Here our puree is ready and I'm going to strain with it our strainer. While cooking, we already have added here 500 ml of water and I have used cold water while puree our mixture. Carrot, beetroot and tomato is very good for your hemoglobin and to keep glow to your skin, your face and carrot we all know it's very good for hair, eyes and full of vitamin A. Tomato contains vitamin C and beetroot is very very good 
for her health, for blood purifying, those who have hemoglobin, lack of hemoglobin complain, that can use and even children don't like the food while we are feeding them during lunch or dinner time. So this is the best way to feed them our beetroot. So now it pulp. I'm going to show you how it looks. You can see this is our puree ready and I'm going to keep this on cooker on medium to high flame. In our puree, I'm adding half a tablespoon of butter. This is optional. If you don't need to add butter, you can omit it. Here, I'm using one cube of vegetable stock. You can use chicken cube if you are non-veg, but I'm using here one cube of our vegetable stock. Two tablespoons of sugar. Cut it and then use it. 1 teaspoon of mix herb and half a teaspoon of red chili powder mix them well and allow to boil once it starts boiling we want to boil it for 3 to 4 times simmer and after that to give a body to our soup I am adding here cornstarch half a teaspoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water and I have made this slurry here I'm adding this with this one tablespoon of tomato ketchup and if you don't want to add tomato ketchup you can omit this tape as well mix well and let it boil for three to four simmer after 25 minutes our bun is ready here and I have cut in a form of garlic so we are calling them garlic bun and this is Japanese uh, basically Japan people they are using all-purpose flour but uh, because of the health we always consider our health first so I'm using here wheat flour so our bun is little hard and with the wheat flour now I'm going to dip in our mixture I have here one egg in one egg, I'm adding half a tablespoon of butter. Half a tablespoon of chopped green coriander. Salt per taste. Half teaspoon of garlic mince. And half teaspoon of red chili flakes. Mix them well. Here I am adding 1 tablespoon of our cornstarch slurry. I am adding one more so it is 2 tablespoon of cornstarch slurry and our mixture is ready here. Now moving to here. I have filled here cheese bread. If you have spread plain then you can add mix herb and the salt and the garlic powder in cheese bread and prepare this or you can buy from the superstore and I'm going to fill this in our each hole. So now I'm going to give a wash of our mixture and try to fill all stuff in our Japanese garlic bun and this is going in our same grease thing and this is a very good version for your brunch or the breakfast and 
if you want to make a with all-purpose white flour you can make with all-purpose white flour or you can bring ready-made bun and just give some masala spices like we are preparing here right now I'm preparing healthy version so that's why we have our hard bun and I'm going to pour all this Again, I have preheated our oven here for on 180 degree temperature for 15 minutes and I'm going to place this again for 15 minutes on the same temperature 180 degree. After 10 to 12 minutes on medium to low flame, our tomato soup is ready to serve. You can see the consistency we have here and this is ready to serve. After 20 minutes, our bun is ready and I'm sprinkling fresh chopped chives on the top and this is the best during breakfast or the brunch. Our Japanese garlic bun and tomato soup is ready to serve. Hope you all like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.